Hello everyone, how's it going? Eric here. And today, I want to talk about, I don't know why I sung that. Uh, today, I want to talk about the seven deadly sins that Switch owners sometimes do. Now, if you don't know what these seven deadly sins are, they are, in no particular order, envy, wrath, gluttony, sloth, pride, greed, and lust. Something I need you to do for me. I need you to keep count. Every one of these sins that you commit, and there's gonna be a lot of them, I know, I know, you're all sinners out there, I know it. I want you to go, Eric, one. If you do two of them, two. Three, three. We all know how to count, let's do this. It obviously wouldn't be the seven deadly sins of Switch owners without actually tying this into the Switch somehow. So we're gonna get into the list and you're gonna see how fun we really get on this thing that I do once, supposed to be once a day, but doesn't turn out once a day. The first one I have here is Joy-Con Envy. Now, don't lie to me, don't, don't do it. You've had Joy-Con Envy at some stage, and if you have not had Joy-Con Envy, I don't know if you've ever Google searched customized Joy-Con, but do that for me. Do that for me and just be amazed at like, the, first of all, the creativity, creativeness, cre creativeness, creativeness of other people out there because they are amazing. I'm not so amazing. Honestly, the stuff that these people put out is just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Next up here we have wrath quitting, which is very similar to rage quitting, but um, it's basically the same thing. You try to think of seven deadly sins that make up with these names. It's not easy. Now, wrath quitting on the Switch has become a very, very dangerous thing. You've ever had the, the, the urge to, to throw your controller down? Well, you used to be able to do that. Damn it. Go pick up player two and keep going. Now, if you get angry at your system, Damn it. It's the trip down to GameStop or whatever thing you use to buy new consoles and it's $300 later. You don't know how confusing this is when you're Australian and like you have to start, okay, no, it's $300 and a trip down to GameStop, not uh, $470 and a trip down to EB. It all gets very, very confusing up here. And up here is already confusing enough for me, trust me. It's becoming the indie machine at the moment, the Switch. And with all these indies, you know what indies are like? They love to release a good hard game to really get the heart pumping and, and get you right into it and overcome a challenge. You know, Celeste and Dead Cells and... But these games are basically made to get the blood boiling, the, the blood rush that you can actually do it. And then when you can't do it, there's one direction that Switch feels like going and it's out of your hand. Do not throw your Switch. Yeah, don't do that. Glutton for attachments. Now, this one is one that I hear a lot of people actually are. And I, I didn't really consider myself a glutton for attachments until I kind of thought about it. I'm like, hold on, when I went and picked up my Switch, I went and got like all the extra Joy-Con that I could possibly handle and plus the extra Joy-Con grip that could charge and and like I walked out of EB with a big bag of like Switch accessories and Switch stuff. I'm like, no Eric, you're, you're pretty bad. Although the latest thing that I'm hearing so many people are getting into is third party accessories. I just, there are so many of them out there and there's just compilation videos by compilation videos of what accessories should you get for your Switch. Everyone has these videos. I, I would do them, but I don't, I, 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 I don't. So for me, it's become personally just a house of like eight Joy-Cons and, and two Pro Controllers and the Joy-Con grips and cases and... Which isn't that bad. You know, we have two Switches in this house. It's not as bad as it seems. Settle down, everyone. Stop calling me names. There's so much different stuff that you could get for your Switch to accessorize it. Especially because it's a portable console. There's so much. So much. Portable slothing. Trust me, the names go all go downhill from here. Because you have a portable console, you make yourself as comfy as possible anywhere and there's nothing wrong with being comfy hey like we've all sat on the couch and you know that that you're basically a ham and cheese sandwich just slowly getting melted into the couch oh there you go but thanks to the switch people have been taking this to the next level people have been you know i, I mean i'm i'm guilty of this myself i take my switch to bed sometimes because like if i have five minutes so i'm like i can play a game for five minutes or it ends up being three hours before bed why not but taking that to the next level, like I just kind of explained that I did, is a dangerous thing because we end up just melting into everything. Anywhere we go with our Switch, you end up just kind of, you start off, you're all, you're all propped up and you're ready to go. You got your pillow behind your head. And then before you know it, you just slowly melted back down to the point where you're in the bed and you switch. I'm not just talking about the bed. Just take the Switch anywhere. It can be the couch, it can be the beanbag, it can be just be the floor, it can just be the kitchen. Wherever you are, you end up just slothing around with your Switch. And I see it all the time. I see people playing their Switches, even out and about, and they're just like, I'm definitely not saying don't get comfy while you're playing your Switch because, oh man, is it fun to get comfy. I'm just saying maybe thinking about, I don't know, not turning into a ham and cheese sandwich when you're out and about. Oh, there you go. 
Next up on the list, we have Taking Pride on the Throne. Now, for those of you who have followed my behavior for a little while would know that I've never, ever, ever taken, I, didn't, you know, I don't even like to talk about it. We're not, not even gonna talk about it today. I, I can't talk about this. I'm so, we're done. For today's end screen, I do not need to sneak here. All right, we'll talk about it because we have to. Not because I want to, but because we have to. I do not condone the, I do not condone the behavior of taking advantage of portability and pooping. I didn't, I, I, I don't even know how you do this. Like, you take, so you take, tell, tell me everyone, tell, enlighten me. You've got your switch, you've taken it to the toilet with you. Okay, you've done your business. I, I'm honest, I'm, I'm all wrapped up inside even talking about this at the moment. You guys don't know what you do to me. You've done your business, you've got your switch, and, and now you're, you're wearing some jeans and you've got a belt on. So you, you, what, do you, what do you do with your switch? What do you, how do you pull your pants up, do the zip up, put your button back in, get your belt together? Where, where's your switch? Where's your, do not tell me it's on the ground in the toilet. Don't tell me that. You know, you know what, we're done, we're done. That's it, we can't, I can't talk about this anymore. We're done, moving on. The greed shop sale. Now this is one myself that I've managed to avoid. This is when you go to the e-shop, you see stuff that's on sale, and you snap up those bargains. You know that dollar game that you don't need? You don't need a dollar game, it's not gonna be any good, but you bought it anyway, didn't you? It doesn't just have to be dollar games either. Any cheap game that you see on there and you're just like, you know what, you don't even know if you're gonna play it, but you buy that game anyway. You add that to that backlog, that ever-growing Switch backlog that just gets bigger and bigger by the day. It's, it's a snowballing backlog. And last of all here, we have New Switch Lust. Now, if you're wondering, what is New Switch Lust? Well, first of all, I ran out of names, so New Switch Lust had to do. And second of all, New Switch Lust is when you, I've, I've got into a couple categories here. It's either if you're longing for a new Switch, you know those new models that we heard about recently, and you're like, ooh, shiny Switch, I might like one of those, that's Switch Lust. The other thing that Switch Lust is... <laughs> I just realised I don't actually have a two. So, it's just one. Longing for a new type of Switchy model thing. If you're that person who is either looking forward to a Switch Mini or a Switch Mega or a Switch Pro or a Switch... Whatever else your grandma can throw at the chalkboard. Yeah, that's, that's what you're hoping for. But that just about wraps it up for our layers and layers of sinful lasagna. Now, let's eat our lasagna and give you a title. So. Um, let's do it, let's, you know what, let's jump through a quick tally here so you can retally them just in case you missed a couple there. Uh, we have, get your, get your fingers ready, Joy-Con Envy, Wrath Quitting, Glutton for Attachments, Portable Slothing, it's getting hard to hold my fingers up, Taking Pride on the Throne, ugh, Greed Shop Sale, and New Switch Lust. If you scored a zero or a one there, I, I don't have a name for you because, I don't know, you're too good. You're too much of a goodie two-shoe. Two points is a god on the go. Three points is a portable purist. Four points is a light switcher. Five points is a nindy neutral. Six points is for dark switches. And if you are a bad enough dude to score seven points or female, you are a dockless devil. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this silly little thing that we did today. Uh, Yoshi's out tomorrow, so... I don't know, there's not much to talk about with news-wise, and I just thought we would have a little bit of fun today, because fun is what the name of the game is. Or Nintendo. Yoshi's Crafted World. Now, do not forget to let everyone know how much of a sinner you are down below, and if you made it this far in the video... Vi video? <laughs> with an F. If you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed what happened here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me, that'd be much appreciated, and for great Nintendo entertainment, you can count on me. For today's end screen, <laughs> I'd want to talk about the fact that, uh, I don't know, sleep patterns. I have been getting into a really bad sleep pattern lately. I go into bed at like three o'clock at night, which is just not, <laughs> I'm never a night owl. I'm a morning owl. Like I'm a person who gets up really early in the morning. So it's been screwing with me lately, but um, I am trying to get back into a good sleep pattern, which is why sometimes it's, there's not a video every day. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, no, you're going to go to get bed at a decent time if it means not getting a video out that day. But I promise I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of getting videos out daily. I just, um, yeah, d d doing my best. Just doing my best is all I can do. Anyway, that's going to do it. Goodbye.